All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond at this hour. Revitalizing U.S. alliances, President Joe Biden hosted the first in-person White House summit with the Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga as the first foreign leader who is visiting White House since Joe Biden has taken charge. In their first meeting, the two leaders raised issues stretching from COVID-19 to climate change to the Tokyo Olympics to North Korea. But an increasingly assertive China topped all issues. The two leaders also addressed an array of geopolitical issues and underscored their alliance to counter China. Slamming Beijing's increased military pressure on Taiwan, the two leaders have in fact reaffirmed the importance of peace and stability in the Taiwan Strait. The Biden administration has in fact called managing the U.S. policies towards China and the Indo-Pacific as the primary challenge for the United States of America. We committed to working together to take on the challenges from China and on issues like the East China Sea, the South China Sea, as well as North Korea, to ensure a future of a free and open Indo-Pacific. Japan and the United States are two strong democracies in the region, and we're committed. We're committed to defending and advancing our shared values, including human rights and the rule of law. Now, calling the United States Japan's best friend, Yoshihide Suga further said that he and Joe Biden had some serious talks on China's influence over peace and prosperity in Indochina and also the world at large. He further added that the U.S.-Japanese alliance has served its role as the foundation of peace and stability for the region for many decades. They both also agreed to oppose any attempts to change the status quo by force or by coercion in the East and Southeast China Sea by intimidation. The Japan has agreed to promote realignment of the U.S. forces in Japan. また Meanwhile, the U.S. President has also unveiled a series of commitments he has agreed to with the Prime Minister of Japan. The two nations have in fact agreed on the Japan-U.S. Quad Partnership and have also confirmed to promote cooperation in common priority areas such as science and technology, climate change and COVID-19. During a shortage of semiconductors that's worrying businesses around the world, the two governments have been working to strengthen technology supply chains independent of China. And also as part of the supply chain cooperation, Japan is expected to announce an investment in 5G cellular networks so as to boost alternatives to China's networks. Now, over the next coming days, both countries are also expected to make some deeper commitments to cutting climate wrecking fossil fuel emissions in line with Biden's climate summit with 40 world leaders next week. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.